Are those albino pakus? Red tails? What? Gucci Raw fam, if you guys aren't a part of the fastest, strongest fishing family on YouTube, bro, what are you doing, bro? Smash that subscribe button, join the Raw fam. So today we're back actually at uh, my Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch, and uh, looking at my pool pond, guys, this thing is totally bad of the bone, but we did a couple updates to it. We put a couple little minnows in it. We put some wood. Let me catch you guys up on what you guys missed. I'm actually gonna show you guys how to be viral, and the first thing you gotta do is just sit down. That's the, the biggest thing to, uh, <laughs> to being Oh, the skulls, come play. It was me. Please play. How you guys actually be viral. And uh, so nobody could say we didn't swim in the pool pond. Three, two, one. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Baptized. Yes, guys, so I actually went swimming with all of these beautiful little minnows that are already inside of this pond. My buddy Blake went off and caught these guys because uh, I don't want to have to go off and catch all these minnows whenever we put these giant pakus in here. Guys, these things are going to get in here. They're going to be nice and hungry, so they're going to have a lot of food to just kind of scavenge off of. All right, guys, so we're over here at uh, Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch, and we have this sock net. You guys remember Blake's ghetto freaking net that he made the other day? Guys, I'm sorry. I can't see that. I can't say that on video. Uh, it does look like something, just not a net. Yeah, I didn't know he had one of these nets. Wait, they, they, they can't hear you. Oh my god. They, <laughs> it, it's in the middle of a flashback. Oh, guys, you guys are back. So, I actually have a non ghetto version of this net. I already had it at my house, but he just didn't let me know. You could say what you said before. He didn't let me know he had one of these nets. I had to make the broke wave man freaking net thingy, my barber. LOL, that's all we gotta say to that. So we actually have a sock net right here that is actually perfect. I got these for my koi because I have very expensive koi at my house. Uh, this is actually ideal for transporting these fish. So what do we actually have? Blake, bro, what do we have today to, uh, to show the raw fam? For here? Yeah. For We're here. gonna be putting in some nice 10 inch albino paco that are gonna be going inside this pool pond. A nice 12 inch red tail catfish and a tiger shovel nose, another 12 inch one giant albino pakus. He has red tails. He has freaking pyrabia catfish. He has albino clowns. Guys, this man has everything. So guys, if you guys want to be able to watch all of these videos, guys, it's going to be on my channel. It's going to be on Blake's. Blake's exam. Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Yeah, guys, I always mess up with that tongue twister, but today, let's get into the video. We gotta go catch some albino pakus. Let's do it. Guys, so the first fish on our bucket list today that we're actually going to be putting inside of the brand new pool pond, we're gonna be taking Blake's beautiful red tail catfish and putting him inside of the new pool pond. I'm sorry, guys. There's gonna be a lot of turkeys crowing inside of this video. Love you guys. Let's do it. As you guys can see, we have a little homemade bucket uh, filter and all that stuff right there. And uh, we have a red tail in here. We got a couple other fish. You ready, Blake? Bunch of turtles. Bunch I'm of turtles. Point this down so that we can see a little better. There you go, buddy. Explain the proper way to to, to act. Yeah, you guys, we're gonna be getting about two five-gallon buckets of water from here. here. Two five-gallon buckets of water from here. Bringing it into the pool pond area, and we're gonna get water from there and put a little bit at a time into the garbage can. And that's gonna acclimate the fish at the same time. You get in his little home? Oh, you got the fish too. Oh, you saw him? Yeah, he was in there. Hey, buddy. Yeah, he's getting a little beat up, you guys, in here, because I have a lot of turtles, and they're just picking at him a lot, so that's why I kind of want to move him to the pool pond and make him happy. The lemon red tail. Got him. Awesome. Good job. I got that on video. Perfect. See him, you guys? Yep. You guys see him right there? Wait up. Wait up, wait up. Don't move it. See him, you guys? Yep, we got him. All Put right. him in. Here we go, guys. We got that red tail right there. Hi, buddy. How you doing? See that, buddy? You guys see that red tail right there? Very cool. And uh, now what we're going to be doing is we're going to scoop up a bunch of water out of here and acclimate this fish. Like I just said a few minutes ago, we're going to be getting water from here. And we're going to dump it in here. We're going to do that like 25 more times, so. Yeah. Start going, buddy. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Alright, you guys ready? Right out here. There he goes with all that nasty ugh. There you go, buddy. Good job. 
You have a brand new home. This is our first pond monster in the brand new pool pond. What's up, Mr. Redtail? Bro, you are huge. He's thick. Blake, bro, that is a, <laughs> that's a big boy. He got bit by the turtle. Look at the minnows following him. Yeah, he has a school of babies. Guys, our red tail catfish had babies? Nah, I'm just kidding, guys. I all just uh, clickbaited the heck out of all of you guys. So, thank you guys for the comments in the section. Guys, so what is the time we have all been waiting for? Now we're going to go off and get these beautiful giant pakus and go put them in the pool pond. Let's do it. We have some aquarium salt. Just a little bit. I call this fish drugs, but it's not real drugs. It just calms them down. And, uh... <laughs> These guys are our next victims for the new pool pond. We're gonna get some albino pakus. Let's do it. Bro, they're huge. Oh my gosh. Is he in? Yeah. Fine, now twist the top, twist the top. There you go, twist the top, there you go. Use it like it's supposed to. There you go. Let go of the bottom, there you go. So you guys properly use this. Now we're getting some water. There you dump it. You're good. We're acclimating those guys. We are doing that. And uh, you guys see that red tail? You ready? He's doing awesome. Acclimating the water, you guys. You do it about 10, 15 times. Equal out the water. Wait about 10, 20 minutes, and then put them in. A lot easier. Perfect. See that? See how nice that was? Alright, number two. This one's a little smaller, but he's still being nice. Very pretty fish, brother. Guys. Oh my gosh, guys. I just got totally freaking drenched from that epic freaking Paku. Blake wants to be in the background, but now this time is my time to shine. I've been waiting for this moment for literally my whole life, guys. We're going to take the last two albino Pakus and put them in the new pool pond. It's very epic, very cool. Let's do it. All right, guys, so I have the sock net now. It's my turn. Blake actually let me do it this time. I'm so excited. So we're going to get these epic little albino Pakus, the red belly albino Pakus. Let's do it. So the first reason is that uh, we have water from a different area. Even though it's still well water, uh, we're gonna take all the water from over there, put about 50% in here. Then we're gonna take the water from in here, put about 50% of this bucket. It's only gonna be about that much of a garbage can and uh, we're just gonna keep mixing it, then let the fish acclimate for about 15 to 20 minutes and then we're gonna take these beautiful fish, put them back in. So, let's do it. There we go. Both of them at the same time. With the net. Very nice. Very, very nice. Hey guys on YouTube. Hey guys on YouTube. It almost looks like I kind of know what I'm talking about, but everybody knows raw fishing sucks at handling fish, so guys, I never just ignore it. Oh my goodness, bro. Bro, those albino pakus, red tails, what? This is wild. This is, oh my gosh, this, oh, this is. This is just a uh, temporary, don't even worry about what we're putting in here, you guys. <laughs> so th these are like the babies uh, to what we're actually gonna put in here. Um, these are very cool fish, but 
We have big plans, don't we? Yeah, we graduated high school already, so you so, know, uh, we're yeah. going big going home. <laughs> yeah, so we don't have to ask our mommies if we could get some cool fish. We're like doing right there, Parker, that's not happening. Here you go, all right, all right. Let's do it, buddy. Blake, what's up, bud? What's up, guys? We have an epic filter that we actually made by hand. And we made all of this, everything in here. If you guys want to see how we did it, how we designed it. There's a video right there, just click on it. Oops, I accidentally, yeah, I'm sorry. You ready to, go, it, ready to go get that fish? Yeah. Let's do it. Guys, this is not freaking epic, guys. Can we please get a thousand likes on this video if you guys like this indoor pool pond that me and my buddy Blake, guys, we literally set this up. It's been freaking weeks. We've been working on this, and now we're working on even bigger and better fish than the ones that are already in here. I love you, Raw Fim, and I will see you later. Peace! We were driving. <laughs> And we came past the turtle laying eggs, and this is like a really important thing, and you gotta hurry. So, Blake running, I'm running because we don't want the eggs to crack. The croc slipped on the gate. I was literally on the floor for like 15 minutes just now because I slipped and it knocked the air out of me. <gasps> and Blake got over there and he came back. <laughs> Thought he was gonna have to do freaking CPR. It was horrible. <laughs> I couldn't breathe. To uh, take this over to the incubator and uh, we'll do another video on that very soon.